Good call. Electric shivers across my skin. It's like a fever. You're my only medicine. Touch the new fragrance from Lynx. Tampax Compact is so easy to use, you can do it blindfolded. Tampax Compact, made to go unnoticed. The government is set to order inquiries with bloody Sunday-type powers of investigation into the controversial killings examined by Judge Peter Corey. Now, new TV footballers' wives, this programme contains scenes of violence and scenes that some viewers may find upsetting. Perfect match. Bliss in association. Bliss in association with footballers' wives. Discover a new sensation from Veet, the first ever bladeless razor kit. It works with a three-minute gel cream. It would be just such a bore. I'm doing 99 feeling I'm a free man. And there's no more cuts, stubble, or dryness. Just skin that feels smoother for longer. If only every feeling lasted as long. The new bladeless razor kit from Beat, a feeling that lasts. Another incredible offer from Boots. Spend £15 and get an exclusive Cartoon Network DVD for £1.99. Now available at larger Boots stores. At B&Q, we've got half-price doors on selected kitchens. This ivory classic-style kitchen is now under £1,700. At B&Q, we can help you plan this beautiful kitchen and help you pay for it, too. And you can also save on this beach-style shaker kitchen. With half-price doors, it's under £1,200. To complete your kitchen, there's a third off this appliance pack. Buy it as a pack and save £496. Stylish kitchens at low B&Q prices. What's the first thing you remember? There was a girl. Some secrets. She died four years ago. Should not be revealed. <laughs> Academy Award winner Halle Berry, Robert Downey Jr., Penelope Cruz. <laughs> Gothica. We're here to right a wrong, Mums. Kellogg's Rice Krispies aren't just puffs of air. They're full of complex carbohydrate. Fortified with vitamins and made from wholesome grains of rice. As much iron <laughs> as a portion of spinach. <laughs> Sounds great! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> and you thought Kellogg's Rice Krispies were just snap, crackle and pop. Let me down. And that's it, thanks. There's a good boy. Off you go. Gum disease affects four out of five dogs over three. Fed daily, Pedigree Dentistics' unique X-shape can help reduce plaque and tartar buildup by up to 60%. You clean your teeth every day, so should your dog. Irresistible. Deco. European style, great value. At nine months old, you're discovering the world through your mouth and learning that extra stretch can make a big difference. That's why Pampers Active Fit has the stretchier sides for perfect fit. <laughs> Active Fit, the stretchier sides. Inspired by babies created by Pampers.
there's a new must-have accessory for your car. You get it when you update your registration, register or buy a car, or lose your old green logbook. And from June, you also get it when you renew your tax. It's the new registration certificate, and it makes every car up to date. in association with footballers wives bliss in association with footballers wives try downloading your first ring token free try with orange Absolutely brilliant. Really truly terrifying. Entertaining, definitely. It's a must-see film. Completely, Completely amazing. That was a great roller coaster from start to finish. We need to do something. No. Absolutely terrifying and much better than the original. It's good to see horror films back. They're here. Dawn of the Dead. Dad. Dad. Yep. I thought cranberries were red. That's right, they are. But these are white. Well, that's because they picked earlier. And that's why they're white. Got it. So if I came up to Mummy's tummy earlier, would I have had blonde hair? New Ocean Spray White Cranberry Juice Drinks in three delicious fruit flavours for a sweeter cranberry taste. Ocean Spray. There's definitely something in it. Sanex lets your skin breathe. Your clothes let your skin breathe. And your deodorant? Sanex effective deodorants that let your skin breathe. Sanex healthy skin. We learned from the experts. New Pringles dippers. Perfectly shaped for new Pringles dips. Because the better the scoop, mm. the bigger the taste. New Pringles, Dippers and Dips. Once I have a cool fridge, it's easy with Appliance Project Paint, specially formulated by Plasticoat. The perfect finish, fast. This Easter weekend, treat yourself to a hot cross bun from Cuisine de France. Cuisine de France, embrace the taste. It used to take me forever to get my hair smooth and sleek. I didn't want to go to extremes. Now it's easy with Pantene Pro-V Smooth and Sleek. It tames even frizzy hair with a pro-vitamin formula that smooths and aligns every strand to leave hair extremely smooth and extremely sleek. Pantene Pro-V Smooth and Sleek. Extremely smooth hair without going to extremes. Life's not worth a damn till you can stay. Rediscover the real you with Radox. Try video messaging for the first time. Free for up to a month. Try with Orange. When you just love coming home, again and again, then it must be the freshness of new Febreze Summer Splash. It sweeps stale odors out of fabrics, leaving your whole house feeling fresh air clean. Summer Splash, one of two new scents from Febreze. Bliss, in association with Footballers' Wives. Bliss, in association with Footballers' Wives. Right then, Mr. White. You're covered by Boopa, so I'm sure we can sort that out. Did you have a date in mind? Uh, yes, well, I <laughs> really didn't want to wait too long. <laughs> sure. If you've got Boopa health insurance, you can get treatment in no time. Okay, well, uh, how about this Friday? Oh, great. Sleeping. <laughs> Boopa, for health and care people.
There's a new must-have accessory for your car. You get it when you update your registration, register or buy a car, or lose your old green logbook. And from June, you also get it when you renew your tax. It's the new registration certificate, and it makes every car up to date. Can you milk a pig? Don't know. Can't say I've tried. Hmm. Let's check out what's in our new Sky Plus. I thought we didn't watch enough TV to get Sky. David, my son, talk to the hand. This is Sky Plus. You cherry pick all your favorite programs from the best TV out there and watch them back when you want. So I can watch late night telly in the morning with my cornflakes? Cornflakes and pig's milk. <laughs> <laughs> get all the best telly out there and complete control of your TV schedule. Sky Plus. It's like having your own TV channel. By the time she dropped the hose pipe, the snooker ball had fallen out the other end. <laughs> Where is everyone? Dunno. Haven't you seen Mr. or Mrs. Smudge or the Stain Brothers? No. There's no earth. It's just the two of us. We're being wiped out. Dulux Real Life. Ten times tougher than ordinary matte paint. On two disc DVD. Do you know what happened to Neo? You are ready to die for this man. If she has to, she can every one of us. She's in love. Believe it. By the Matrix Revolutions on DVD, Friday, 2nd of April. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Follow the dream of expanding horizons. Unending challenges. Men fulfilling destinies. Open up to the possibilities and dare to dream. This month on Sky. At home, always remember to reduce, reuse and recycle. Do we always need plastic cups, disposable towels, disposable razors? Avoid wasteful packaging. Why not take your bananas home? Au naturel. It's the Naked Chef. Reuse your plastic bags and containers for storing and freezing food. And always recycle. Things like tea bags, potato peelings, fruit and eggshells. Make a great compost heap. You're supposed to do that in the garden. Series Bad Girls coming soon to UTV. Bliss in association with Footballers Wives. down kitchen prices. All kitchen units and worktops are half price when you spend over £200. Plus two years free credit and free delivery when you spend over £350. And this Thursday only, it's 10% day. There's an extra 10% off everything in store at home base. Grillo con George. Moi, je grille avec George. I grill with George. Yo aso a la parrilla con George. Avec George. With George. Met George. Con George. A la parrilla con George. I grill with George too. And this is my lean mean fat reducing grilling machine. 
it grills delicious food in a healthy way fast. Every day, millions of people worldwide grill with George. I'm so proud of it, I put my name on it. Follow the Albert Bridge Road. Follow the Albert Bridge Road. Follow the Albert Bridge Road. Archie. 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 Cons water. Where shopping dreams come true. Minari's mid-season sale is now on. And with prices cut throughout the store, you'll like the look even more. Quality. Deco. European style, great value. We come to be kind, to be warm here and after we've been out. A book we're back, cause we're graced in these matters and we rise. When we like a little love. Sorry. Getting over it. And Guinness. The things that matter. In one moment, one life can end. And one investigation must begin. I must go back, back to the beginning. Find the clues. Find the evidence. Leave no stone unturned. Is he a suspect? Is she a suspect? Who could it be? Face your fears. Unearth your ghost. Trust in no one. Trust in someone. There's Diet 9 on UTV. New baby wipes have chamomile and pure water because babies feel the world through their skin. New soothing sensitive wipes inspired by babies created by Pampers. You think a simple thing like shaving would be, well, simpler. Now it finally can be with the new Wilkinson Sword Intuition. A triple blade razor surrounded by a unique skin conditioning solid with aloe vera and vitamin E. With just water, Intuition lathers and shaves in one step. So easy it makes the process of shaving as smooth as the results. Wilkinson Sword Intuition. Trust your intuition. Now, one credit card offers the UK's lowest flat rate. No. Vanishing short-term offers. No. Sky-high purchase rates. Just a flat rate of 5.9% APR that stays low. The Capital One No Hassle Platinum Card. What's in your wallet? A major security operation has been going on at Belfast Docks. A warehouse at Gotto Wharf has been sealed off and a cargo of steel is being examined. And NTL is to close its call centre in Belfast as part of a plan to cut costs and reduce staff numbers.
This is Michael. Today he's going to hit his girlfriend so hard she ends up with permanent brain damage. in this vehicle. The girl is critical. They say the guy without the seatbelt did the damage. No seatbelt, no excuse. From DOE, supported by AXA Insurance. If you don't fill that hole with a Muller rice, what will you fill it with? Muller rice. It loves filling holes. Extra laws at B&Q means an extra 20% off thousands of items. 20% off garden furniture. 20% off all interior paint and all lights. 20% off all power tools and all fires. 20% off all laminate flooring and ceramic tiles. Don't miss out. Ends Thursday, 8th of April. The new fragrance for men from Lacoste. Love Actually is the must-own DVD and video of the year. It's like, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely charming. Lovely. Own it, rent it on DVD and video now. Foam burst from Imperial Leather. Release the lava. You may not always feel like it, but during your period, a little gentle exercise can work wonders. And now your protection can work wonders for you too. You see, Cotton Like Always Ultra now has an improved core to lock liquids safely away. It protects you better than any other pad. Um, we did say gentle exercise. Always. Only your confidence shows. Bliss in association with... Bliss in association with footballers' wives. What do the Roman numerals 3 and 10 have to do with the unique process of how Smyrna vodka is created? Three times distilled, ten times filtered. Perfect. With its deliciously minty burst and lasting freshness, there's never been a mint like it. New extra mints. Go on, try one. Try downloading your first ring token, free. <laughs> Try with orange. Patsy Twist, discover it before it discovers you. here, Mrs. Johnson. Are you thinking of a kitchen in the near future? Can you hold on a second? Your call is important to me. Thank you for holding. Hello? How oh, very Nambari. Nambari, nice and strong. Girl, you're so pale and so lovely on holiday with your proud man. 
but secretly he's bored with you. He wanted filthy and dirty and more rude. And when you sleep, he creep into town to look for the backstreet action. He can't resist the city San Jose Mexican pot noodle mess. And as he swallow, he shout, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. New Mexican flavor. It is dirty and you want it. Truity C, a new fragrance for men. Introducing new color liquid tabs from Ariel. There's no easier way to clean your colors. Ariel, that's another load off your mind. Try video messaging for the first time. Free for up to a month. Try with orange. What's the best point of Guinness you've ever had? Well, there was that pint I had with Mark. Perfectly formed. And then there was that one with old blue eyes. Take me up what was that like? Smooth, very smooth. But the best pint of Guinness is usually the last one. Last orders now. A, a drink for my friends. And put on my tab. in association with Footballers Wives. Bliss, in association with Footballers Wives. Imagine summer days hot enough for bees to make rich golden honey and grow sun-ripened currants. Give me a break. I can smell me. I know you. These are wrong! Look at their shape! They have not the rounded sides of a human snack. They be square. Impish servants of the goated one. Am my kids? How can they be children when they are not working the fields, when the fiery ball is in the sky? Ye have not seen the last of me. The dog with two heads and two bodies. Walk as squares? Tis not normal. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around Love is in the air Every sight and every sound What is it about this time of year that seems to awaken our interest in nature? Love is in the air Magnus Original Irish Cider Love is in the air Time dedicated to you Celebrate 30 years of ABBA with this incredible limited double edition of ABBA Gold, containing both the CD and DVD. Featuring every ABBA number one single and every classic video. Everyone should own ABBA Gold. Get your copy of this fantastic double edition while stocks last. The jailer is exposed, guys. Now magazine. This week is the Beckham's marriage in crisis. To help keep skin clear, I take double action. Now look at this. Double action in one. New Neutrogena Visibly Clear 2-in-1 Wash and Mask. It's a really effective daily wash that doubles as a mask for more intensive cleansing when you need it. Leaving your skin beautifully, visibly clear. Double clear. New Neutrogena Visibly Clear, developed with dermatologists. It works beautifully. Whoa, partners! There's no cowboys at John Mulholland Motors Randallstown, Northern Ireland's number one Skoda dealer. The only range you'll find here is our wide selection of new, used cars and 4x4s. John Mulholland Motors, all the horsepower you'll ever need. Only a 20-minute ride from Belfast. Yeehaw! The harmony that you charm me with cascade Bewitch me, beguile me and lead me Don't you fade on me, don't you run Discover the Magnum Truffle huh? And 
experience intensity like never before. New Magnum Intense from HB. Women, don't expect any help on a Thursday. Nuts, the new magazine for men, every Thursday. Back for a new series, Bad Girls, coming soon to UTV. in association with Footballers' Wives. The perfect match. Bliss, in association with Footballers' Wives. Find your picture, please, Oscar. Heartbeats, only at 8 on UTV. Bad girls coming soon to UTV. Hey, LeBron. Oh, what up, Thirst? Brother, how about a toy, your new crib? Oh, come on in. This is my bedroom? Right, right. King size water bed. Game room. Plasma screen, blah, blah, blah. And this is the kitchen. Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't. Crisp, clean, ice cold, lemon lime flavor Sprite always at your fingertips. Check it out. <laughs> you crying? It's just so beautiful. Show up, my motto. Can a brother get a minute? My hair color does something yours doesn't. Because it's Garnier Nutrice. The only permanent hair color that nourishes with fruit oil. Rich, radiant color. All because Nutrice means nourish. So hair takes color better and holds it longer. Root to tip. And speaking of color, nourished hair means better color. And grays? Gone. Guaranteed. Can your hair color do all that? Garnier Nutrice. Nourished hair, better color. Garnier. Bloated, sluggish, not myself. When constipation disrupts my body's natural rhythm, I take Dolcalax in the evening for gentle, predictable relief. So by next morning, my usual rhythm's returned. Trust Dolcalax to help restart your natural rhythm. Normally, if you only pay for half, you only get half. Not at DFS this Easter, where everything is half price in the Be Yourself collection. That's a whole lot of style for half what you'd normally pay. What's more, there's four years free credit and everything's free for the first year. Half price at DFS this Easter. An incredible eight number ones. Now 57. That's what I call music. is in half an hour here on UTV after Weddings from Hell 2004. When you just love coming home again and again then it must be the freshness of new Febreze Summer Splash. It sweeps stale odors out of fabrics leaving your whole house feeling fresh air clean. Summer Splash one of two new scents from Febreze. Surf promises to remove 99 everyday stains. Surf, 99 stains removed or your money back. And that's some promise.
conflict ends into chaos as American troops fire on one of the country's holiest mosques. I'll have the full story at 10.30. Your wedding day is a day you should never forget. I'm not here, Mary! For whatever reason. Oh, my God. Can't let this happen. Mary! This is why I prefer funerals to weddings. Because ah! with a funeral, you know that nothing worse is going to happen. The last in the current series, William and Mary, this Easter Sunday at 9 on UTV. Easter Saturday on UTV and Jon Snow... Tony Slattery, Sir Tim Rice and Alice Beer will be asking the audience, going 50-50 and trying to phone a friend. You don't have many friends to phone either. I've got an imaginary friend, but he's, he's been cut off. It's a millionaire celebrity special, Saturday at 5 past 8 on UTV. Iraq's descent into chaos is the nightmare becoming a reality. Scores more die in another day of violence. Tonight, the Americans insist they're still in control. Also tonight, kicked out the Eurotunnel board, sacked by rebel shareholders. Libyan shooting, new twist tonight in the murder of WPC Fletcher. And stub it out, is Scotland about to call time on smoking in public? And the top story on UTV Live tonight. A major security operation has been going on in the Gotham Wharf area of Belfast Docks throughout today. Good evening. Iraq's terrifying descent into mayhem and murder accelerated today, and it seems there's nothing America can do to stop it. Indeed, today, U.S. forces may have inflamed things with an attack on a mosque in Fallujah, killing 40 Iraqis. In the nearby town of Ramadi, where 12 U.S. Marines were killed yesterday, mosques tonight broadcast calls for a holy war. Our Middle East correspondent Julian Mannion reports from Baghdad. Iraq is in chaos and America is trying to stabilize it with the gun. This is Fallujah, the sunny town west of Baghdad, which the U.S. Marine Corps is determined to punish and subdue after the horrible killings of four U.S. contractors here last week. Facing hundreds of armed insurgents fighting in small groups, the Marines went in behind massive firepower and turned parts of the town into a war zone. The operation was supposed to be targeted and irresistible. Doctors in Fallujah's hospital say dozens of Iraqis have been killed and more than a hundred injured. Civilians were among the casualties. The US military has now confirmed that American planes bombed the outer wall of a mosque from where insurgents were firing on the Marines. The planes dropped two laser-guided 500-pound bombs and fired rockets. There are reports that 40 people were killed. It would appear that the insurgents were fighting from behind the walls of the mosque and recognizing that there was no other alternative um, and that uh, when you start using a religious location for military purposes, it loses its protected status. Nearby in the town of Ramadi, the U.S. Marines suffered a severe blow. During the night, Sunni insurgents attacked Marine positions in the town center and killed 12 Americans. At least 20 more Marines were injured. The insurgents are said to have suffered heavy casualties, but the deaths of so many Marines is a setback that will resonate with the American public. And the news from southern Iraq is disturbing. Near Basra, a small convoy of British troops was ambushed by Shiite militants. The Ministry of Defense says that two soldiers were lightly injured. In the town of Kut, Muqtada al-Sadr's Mehdi army is now in control after Ukrainian soldiers from the coalition withdrew to their base. In Nazaria, hospital staff demonstrated demanding the withdrawal of American troops. And in Kerbala, where fighting broke out this morning, Polish coalition soldiers say that they have killed Muqtada al-Sadr's representative in the town. The U.S. says that the Shiite rebels will be put down. Muqtada al-Sadr himself has now gone to ground in the holy city of Najaf, where it will be difficult to take him on without inflaming the situation. And the Americans face the dilemma that using their undoubted power against what are now Sunni and Shiite insurgencies, 
could deepen Iraqi anger and broaden the base of resistance. Julian Mannion, ITV News, Baghdad. Well, in the United States, there's now a real sense of alarm about the rising number of deaths among their troops. The killing of those 12 Marines yesterday has brought home the growing cost of an occupation that threatens to derail President Bush's re-election hopes. Tonight, the Defence Secretary, Donald Rumsfeld, felt the need to spell it out, insisting we are still in control. To Robert Moore now in Washington. Robert. Well, that's right, Mark. Donald Rumsfeld trying to stay calm under immense pressure. The president insisting this is a battle of wills that America can and will win. But privately, I suspect there is now here a growing sense of crisis and a growing recognition that the most dangerous, the most volatile days still lie ahead. The first wave of wounded from the battle in Fallujah have been evacuated from Iraq. Images that will bring the war home to the American people. At the Camp Pendleton Marine Base in California, the yellow ribbons are on display. So too is the pride and the pain. Christy Rodetsky's husband is a Marine chaplain in Baghdad. Um, I'm very proud of my husband and the job that he does. And I'm proud of all the Marines that are over there. As the situation in Iraq deteriorates, every day the Marine families endure the nightmare wait for news. Breaking news, an all-out fight in Iraq. U.S. and coalition forces... Hearing about more Marines dying is um, scary. I kind of start to panic when I hear that because you don't know who it is. I think they should just get them out of there, you know. It's Hours after Sheila Cobb spoke of her opposition to the war, and the news came. Her son Chris was among those killed in Fallujah. And a growing sense of unease is rippling through America about the Iraq mission. This in the U.S. Senate this afternoon. I am not the only one who hears echoes of Vietnam in this development. Increasing the U.S. troop presence in Iraq will only suck us deeper and deeper and deeper into the maelstrom. Over 630 American soldiers have now died in Iraq, many of them buried here in America's most sacred military cemetery. The Vietnam parallel is being used, but put it in context, the death toll in Iraq is still only 1% of those who died in Vietnam. But the Iraq toll is rising by the day, and Americans now realize they're engaged in another deadly foreign conflict. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington. There wasn't much sign of the Entente Cordiale celebrated by the Queen this week at today's Eurotunnel board meeting. The company's mainly British board was voted out this evening by unhappy shareholders, most of whom are French. They are angry at the company's huge debts and the decline in their investments. Juliet Bremner reports from the meeting in Paris. They didn't look like revolutionaries, but today they staged a bloodless coup. Angry French shareholders followed their rebel leader and toppled an entire board of directors. The coup was orchestrated by Nicolas Miguet, a right-wing politician with convictions for fraud. He persuaded fellow shareholders to kick out the old management and replace them with his friends. Do you see yourself as a hero? I'm not a hero. I am s simply doing my job. I am a writer, I am a journalist, and I fight because I think it's right to fight. Shareholders have been alienated by disastrous results. Debts are now more than £6 billion. When the Channel Tunnel opened 10 years ago, it was hailed as one of the greatest engineering feats of the century. But it turned into a financial disaster. Eurotunnel now owes the bank £6.4 billion. Last year, it made an operating profit of just £170 million, not even enough to pay its interest charges. Why the shortfall? Well, it was predicted 17 million rail passengers a year would travel through the tunnel, but last year, the figure was just 7 million. The men blamed for this mess were unceremoniously booed off the stage. The newly elected chairman took their place on the platform, but looked decidedly unprepared. 
This vote leaves the British government in a very difficult position. It's repeatedly said that it won't bail out Eurotunnel. It had been in rescue talks with the old management. That's now gone. The question is, can they stand by and allow the company to go bankrupt, leaving thousands of small investors with worthless shares? Juliet Bremner, ITV News, Paris. The investigation into the murder of WPC Yvonne Fletcher, shot dead outside the Libyan embassy here 20 years ago, will be conducted under Libyan law. The Foreign Office said tonight it'll be a joint British-Libyan inquiry, yet already questions are being asked, why has Libya been given such a prominent role in a crime committed in London? Well, Lauren Taylor is in the square where it happened and uh, can tell us more tonight. Lauren. Yes, yeah, since Yvonne Fletcher was gunned down here outside what was the Libyan embassy in 1984, no one has ever been charged with her murder. Now, recently, Libya has been brought back into the diplomatic fold with uh, Tony Blair's historic meeting with Colonel Gaddafi in Libya last month. It was after that that British police went out there to discuss the Yvonne Fletcher case, and they've announced tonight that there will be this joint British-Libyan investigation into her death, but it will be led under Libyan law by a senior Libyan magistrate. And what's the likely reaction of WPC Fletcher's family? Well, at the time, her suspected killer was smuggled out of the country under diplomatic immunity. Uh, so although this is progress for them in this investigation, I suspect they would probably have preferred it to take place under British law. After all, this was a crime committed over here. Mark. OK, Lauren Taylor, thanks very much indeed. A 17-year-old appeared in court today charged with plotting to cause an explosion. The teenager, a British Muslim from Sussex, was remanded in custody for a week. He was arrested during last week's big police operation in south-east England. The Home Secretary has appointed a deputy to take responsibility for counter-terrorism. It's the Home Office Minister, Hazel Blears. Her new role will be in addition to her current job as Minister for Crime Reduction and Policing. Smoky bars were nudged a little closer to extinction in Scotland today. The chief medical officer said the time had come for a ban on lighting up in public places for health reasons. He said such a ban would save a thousand lives a year in Glasgow alone. From there, Martin Geisler reports. When it comes to smoking and the diseases it causes, Scotland is the poor man of Europe. Over a million Scots smoke, among them Brian Monteith. He enjoys the occasional cigar with a drink in the pub. He has no intention of breaking the habit and doesn't much like the fact he may have to. Maureen Moore, by contrast, loves the idea. She says all workplaces, pubs included, should adopt a clean air policy. She doesn't touch tobacco and doesn't want to suffer because of others who do. And that is at the crux of this whole debate. The only way of guaranteeing a non-smoker does not breathe in a smoker's fumes is by banning tobacco from places like this. But that is a breach of the smoker's rights, isn't it? Well, I think that people who wish to smoke and people who wish to go out and enjoy a drink with people who smoke should be able to congregate in a pub and have a cigar or a cigarette. So it's not about rights here. There are certain rules in society. I can't do certain things that affect other people's health. And that's right. That's absolutely right. And I'm afraid that's the same for smokers. <laughs> Scotland's top doctor agrees. Smoking claims 13,000 lives every year here. If it's made more difficult, he says, so much the better. I think it's now time for Scotland uh, to take a lead in the UK uh, to move forward, and I think a ban on smoking in public places is a logical next step. Of course, it's not quite that easy. Senior politicians here are said to have real reservations about a smoking ban. Cynics might suggest that what's good for the health doesn't necessarily bring benefit at the ballot box. Martin Geisler, ITV News, Edinburgh. Right, there's much more to come on the ITV news, including as Britain's shopping spree continues, will interest rates have to rise tomorrow? And Arsenal's anguish and Chelsea cheers, why this was the season's turning point. That and another dramatic Champions League comeback after the break. Happy Easter, pal. Argos. This Easter there are some cracking deals, like 20% off all wooden garden furniture.
place we're hammering down prices this easter plus this thursday it's 10 percent day there's an extra 10 percent off everything in store home base worth worth look at all these easter eggs hmm three for two here as well oh, i love smarties can i have this one do i have any choice in the matter fur brain Oh, what? <gasps> Toys and games everywhere. Thankfully, three for two mix and match. Oh, love, actually. Aren't you a bit old for fluffy animals? You're right. You have it. Woolly! <laughs> three for two mix and match this Easter at Woolworths. Let's have some fun. He'll risk everything. She's a porn star. I like this girl. Do her for me! For the girl of his dreams. The girl next door. Welcome back. Homeowners with big mortgages will be holding their breath again tomorrow. The Bank of England will be meeting to decide whether to put up rates. But what difference have recent increases made on how much we're all spending? Our business editor, Caroline Kerr, has been finding out. Having a variable rate mortgage these days is a bit like taking a roller coaster ride. There's no doubt which direction you're heading. The question is, how soon will rates go up? And how much pain will we have to endure before the Bank of England reckons we've got the message? Yvonne Robbins has just spent £30 on a family day out in Milton Keynes. Two previous rate rises haven't changed things for her. At the moment, it's not really affecting me very much. But if it does keep going up, then obviously days out, treats with the children will have to start stopping. Um, obviously because the bills would have to come first. But there's no sign of prudence yet. House prices here are rising among the fastest in the country. The shopping centre is booming. It's as though the cost of borrowing hasn't gone up at all. If the bank does raise interest rates tomorrow, most lenders will probably put up their mortgage rates within days. But it could be several weeks before homeowners get a letter saying that their mortgage is going up. And perhaps another month or so before the new payment comes into effect. The question that's even troubling economists at the Bank of England is how long after that is it before we cut down on our spending and our borrowing? Well, it certainly hasn't happened yet and economists are flummoxed. The presumption at the moment is that because uh, the level of debt has built up over the past couple of years, it will take relatively modest changes in interest rates to have an impact on household behaviour. But the Bank of England has conceded that it's genuinely uncertain over the size of those impacts and how long it will take for them to feed through. Like thousands of us, Yvonne Robbins is bracing herself for rates to edge up. But no one knows how far they'll have to go until our spending is brought back down to earth. <coughs> Caroline Kerr, ITV News, Milton Keynes. Now with news of all tonight's sport, here's Felicity. Mark, thanks very much indeed. Well, a week is certainly a long time in football. Last week, Arsenal were still on course for the treble. Today, they've only the Premiership to play for. And the question everyone is asking, could they slip up there too? If they do, Chelsea, who knocked them out of Europe, could then claim the title. Damon Green reports. On any other night, in any other game, this would have been just another goal. It's in! It's Chelsea! But on this night, in this game, it was the goal which may have changed the balance of power in English football. For a start, it might save the job of Claudio Ranieri, the Chelsea coach under such pressure. He burst into tears at the moment his side beat Arsenal for a place in the Champions League semi-final. Though Arsene Wenger must have felt like crying, he didn't. Because we are all disappointed and we are uh, caught just two minutes before the end, which is uh, cruel, but football is like that as well. And it's left the Arsenal team, who just five days ago were hoping for three domestic and European titles, considering the possibility they might end up with nothing at all. Someone said to me, do you think Arsenal bottled it over the, the couple of games? I think that is ridiculous. They never bottled it. They played very, very well and they were very good matches. I, I just think you will be a bit nervous. I think there's no doubt, come Liverpool and Newcastle, they'll, they'll be on a little bit of tender hooks. There's no doubt about that because they know that Chelsea are not far behind. Arsenal were nine points clear of the Premiership pack at one stage, but now have just a four-point lead. Chelsea fans think on last night's form, the battle for the league trophy isn't over just yet. I don't take anything for granted. I believe it when I see it, but I hope that uh, 
we'll finally win the league. Because the football that John Terry and Lampard play is amazing. How about that one? This is the Premiership trophy. This is the only trophy which Arsenal can now win this season. Their fans will believe it's firmly within their grasp. But Chelsea fans will also believe this trophy is coming here to Stamford Bridge and sooner rather than later. Damon Green, ITV News. Well, as if last night's drama wasn't enough, tonight's Champions League quarterfinals provided what is the greatest ever European comeback. Deportivo scored four goals to put holders AC Milan out. In tonight's other match, Porto are through to the semis after a two-all draw with Lyon. Here's Neil Henderson. Before the game, Deportivo had little hope of rescuing their Champions League campaign. AC Milan, the holders, were 4-1 up on aggregate from the first leg. They were expecting a Spanish stroll. How wrong they were. Just five minutes into the first half and Deportivo struck through Pandian.